What's up everybody, it's Sean here and I'm here today to give you guys a review of the New Balance 2002R from the Protection Pack or Refined Future Pack in this light arctic grey colorway. Today's video as always is brought to you by Hefalux. Hefalux is my all time favorite sneaker insoles and they sell ETPU insoles which really is the same material you'll find inside Adidas Boost. So if you're looking to add some additional comfort inside your shoes, be sure to check out their website which I've linked down below in the description box. You'll see they sell a variety of different insoles, so depending on the type of insole density and the cushioning setup you're looking for, you're going to find there's a suitable pair for anyone. So I've been a paying customer of Hefalux for years now, and I personally find them to be very comfortable. So if you guys want to check them out and try a pair for yourself, be sure to use the code BOO, that's B-O-O at checkout, to get 33% off your entire purchase. So this pair is the latest colorway in New Balance's Protection Pack or Refined Future Pack. One of the most popular sets of New Balance 2002Rs. This pair is colored in light arctic grey and purple and the style code is M2002RDI. And as of right now when I'm recording this video, these have not dropped in North America yet, but I managed to grab this pair over at Up There Store, which is based in Australia. So I paid 250 Australian dollars, which is roughly 220 Canadian dollars. So if I had to guess if or when these eventually make their way to North America, they're probably going to be retailing for the same price as any other 2002 R in this refined feature pack. So jumping straight into the details of this shoe, the base layer of the sneaker on the toe box, this is constructed out of this mesh material, which is woven in this herringbone style. Right above this we have this light purple colored suede with the New Balance end logo embroidered in the center and we have this reflective 3M patch which is found on the medial edge of the toe box. And then overlaid on top of this we have a darker purple suede on either side. Surrounding the front toe cap, here we have this hairy or long haired suede which is once again done in that light purple sort of tone. And one of the trademarks of this refined future pack is of course these jagged suede overlays which almost looks like portions of the shoe has been ripped off by hand. So you can see we have more of this jagged suede covering the mid panel of the shoe. And here you'll see three different tones of purple. Moving backwards, we have this long haired suede, which is once again done in that darker purple tone. And the top two eyelets are constructed in this TPU material in this light gray colored finish. And then embroidered in the center of the mid panel, we have the New Balance end logo, which is done in two tones of purple and the stitching on the outer edge in white. Moving downwards, you can see surrounding the top portion of the ankle collar area, we have more of that herringbone style mesh that we saw earlier on the toe box. And then underneath this, we have a suede overlay with 2002R branding found on the lateral side. And then beneath this, we have more of that light grayish purple suede, which wraps around the middle portion of the heel. And then underneath this, we have that darker purple suede. And this cut of suede is perforated. Right above this, we have this triangular shaped cutout, revealing this translucent layer with the New Balance logo, and the foam layer underneath is given that vintage look in yellow. And then finally, the top of the heel is covered in this purple colored leather, which also has that same jagged appearance to it. In terms of laces, so these only come with one lace option, and they're just your standard flat style lace in this cream or off-white color. Underneath this, the tongue is primarily constructed out of that same mesh that we saw earlier on the toe box and the ankle collar area. We have this light grayish purple suede overlay and on the top of the tongue we have what feels like a synthetic leather and we have this oval shaped cutout with New Balance branding done in this translucent finish revealing that yellowed foam layer within. And if you look at the tongue from the side you'll see that this tongue has that unfinished look to it exposing the layer of foam that's within the tongue. So the back of the tongue and the interior of this shoe this is lined in a light bluish purple textile and then as for the insoles these come with a decently well padded foam insole and stamped on the heel, we have New Balance running branding done in this light purple tone. So the upper of the 2002R sits atop this full length Absorb Foam midsole. The midsole also incorporates Absorb SBS technology, which is found on the heel as well. And the midsole is painted in this cream color on the forefoot and a gray color on the heel. And this is where you'll see they incorporate New Balance's energy technology, which are these purple colored pillars, which are found on the lateral side of the heel, which is there for impact protection and shock absorption. Finally, turning this pair over to the bottom, so the outsole here is also given that worn in and vintage look. It's constructed in a black colored rubber, but it sort of has this ashy appearance to it. We still have these grooves on the forefoot to give you added flexibility. And in the middle, we have this gray colored TPU shank plate, which is what New Balance calls their stability web technology. And this is there to help with torsional rigidity and midfoot support. 
So that breaks down the look and the construction of this pair. And for those wondering about sizing, these fit like most of my other 2002Rs, so I personally stick true to size. So I'm a true size 10 slightly on the wider side, and I wear a size 10 in New Balance models like most of my 2002Rs, the 997 and the 990V2 because I find that usually those two are a bit more narrow in the toe box, and a lot of my made in UK models like the 991, the 1500, and the 1530. And in comparison, I go a half size down to a 9.5 in other New Balance silhouettes like the 992, the 993, the 990V3, V4, V5, and a lot of my 550s too. Moving on to the comfort, so I've said this before in all my reviews, but the 2002R, in my humble opinion at least, is a very comfortable New Balance silhouette. It gives me that perfect balance of squishiness and softness in this foam, but it's not overly soft and unstable, and my foot feels pretty well supported when I'm wearing these. So if I'm going to be on vacation for example, or if I know I'm just going to be on my feet for many hours within a day, then this is definitely a silhouette of choice that I would recommend. Finally, in terms of the overall quality and craftsmanship, so first off, material quality, I thought it was okay. This specific pair was made in China, and I don't know if it's just me, but the quality of the suede felt a little bit poorer even compared to some of my other 2002Rs from the same protection or refined feature pack. It has a bit more of a synthetic feel to it, and it feels a little bit rough and scratchy to the touch, which was a little bit disappointing. But maybe it's just a quality control issue. Let me know if you guys own a pair of these. How's the quality of the materials on your pair? And finally, in terms of the craftsmanship and the build on this shoe, I thought it was okay as well. The biggest issue that I had was that there were some inconsistencies with how the panels were shaped and placed. And while there wasn't too many glue stains and the paint job was solid, the biggest thing that was bugging me and it's still bugging me is the mesh that's found on the left foot. It was placed crookedly or diagonally compared to the mesh on this right foot where it's placed more straight. So this might be just more of an OCPD sort of thing. And I'm sure a lot of you watching out there don't nitpick your shoes that much, but just one of those things that once I saw it, I just can't unsee it. So I gotta say that was disappointing. So with all that out of the way now, let me toss these on feet and assure you guys how these look. Aside from the beef that I have with the poor quality and materials and the craftsmanship on this pair, I think the colorway of the shoe is absolutely beautiful. The way I see it is that this is very similar to the original rain cloud colorway, and it's almost like they took this shoe, slid the saturation all the way to zero, and the end result was the rain clouds. So if you guys don't own a pair of those ones, I think this is a very worthy replacement. And even if you own those in your collection, I think this is a very nice pair to own as well. These shades of blue or purple just look very, very clean. And even though suede isn't the best for the winter, I think the colorway and the tones of this shoe make it a very nice winter pair. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this light Arctic Grey New Balance 2002R from the Refined Feature Pack. What are your overall thoughts on this colorway specifically? And for anyone watching, have you bought these yet? Or are you waiting for a more local release? Or is it going to be a straight pass for you? If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on Instagram at esco8, follow my Twitter at sean.go, and visit my website at seangoca So until next time, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this review, and hopefully it helped you in some way. And I'll catch you guys all in the next one.